morning, fellow pioneers of human transportation. I'm Yogi Steve. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Videos about high-powered scooters. Today, I'm using the original form of human transportation. It's called walking. It's a little old-fashioned, maybe you've heard of it. But we're gonna walk to get our food, basically, because it rained today. Look at the streets. When the streets in Los Angeles get wet, it's super dangerous because it doesn't rain a lot here. So the oils from all the cars and the tires, they all kind of, you know, they say that it stays on the ground and then it rains and then all of a sudden the roads are super slippery. So I don't drive the scooter when it's raining. I don't drive the scooter when it's wet. It's just super, super dangerous, you know, at best. Forgetting about the oils and stuff, being on a two wheeled small scooter when it's wet outside is crazy. And this will also give me a chance to take a good walk. We're gonna get some good exercise now. And I'll also tell you the origin of how I got into electric scooters. Let's go. We're on the corner of Hollywood and La Brea. Check it out. We're gonna walk down Hollywood, go south a little bit, and go to Al Bosch. So, how did I start riding electric scooters? It starts before I got on a rental scooter, I'd already given up my car. So about three years ago, I sold my car, not because I needed money, but because I was never using the car. I run a gym business out of my home. I teach yoga right in the neighborhood at the local park. And I'm not like a super social person. So if I'm not going on like with a date with a girl or you know, one of my close friends in the neighborhood, I never used my car. So I sold it to a friend. And then a few months later, I was on my way to get food with another friend, actually a client. What's up, Rob? You're one of my students. This is well. And we decided after training, I know it's not healthy, but we went to Popeyes. We wanted to go to Popeyes and we wanted to walk there. It's not too far, but it's like at least a mile away. So while we were walking there, on the way, we passed the rental scooters and we were like, hey, you know, on a whim, Let's try a rental scooter. Let's see what they're like. So my first experience with the rental scooter was just extremely fun. It cut back on the amount of time it took to get to Popeyes by a wide margin. And it was extremely fun. I'm sure there's something in the human brain that enjoys the speed of it. You know, I was never into motorcycles, bicycles. I was never even to driving my car very fast, but I enjoyed the rental scooter. It put a smile on my face and I could feel it was almost like an antidepressant type activity that I would enjoy, you know, I knew it right away. So for a couple months, I just rented scooters like everybody else. And then you see the bill, 100, 125, $150 a month for these rental scooters. It was silly, what am I gonna spend $1,800 a year on these scooters for transportation when I know I could buy one for under 2,000? So I bought my first scooter and I don't wanna really talk about my history of scooters, I've talked about that before. My first scooter was an Irby Pro GT. Then I got two swag cycles just for fun that I returned. Then I got a Segway ES4, which I like. It's broken right now, but I still like it. Then I decided to go into the scooter business. I was gonna to try to sell scooters. So I bought four of my own branded scooters. Remember the Outlier scooter? Basically the same as the E-Move Cruiser and the Speedway 4. I decided not to go into the scooter business because of the incredible amount of liability involved. They're barely legal here in California. I don't want to be selling something that I know people can hurt themselves on. So I never went into the scooter business and I feel really blessed that I was able to create the YouTube channel. So in a way, I am sort of in the scooter business. I am sponsored by usaminimotors.com, check them out. So I got into the scooter business without selling people scooters that I know some of them are gonna fucking die on or some variation of that. You know, these scooters are dangerous at best. They're not regulated. I didn't think it was a good business to go into. So that was the origin of how I got into scooters. I went from rental scooters to owning my own scooters. And I probably spent about $10,000, probably more on electric scooters than I wish. The one thing I'm trying to teach people is spend the money, buy a higher quality scooter first, instead of doing what we all do. We buy a scooter, we use it for a period of time. It either breaks or we want something faster and better or more durable, something higher quality. That's why I recommend spend your 2,000, 2,200 bucks if you're looking for your first scooter, buy an Eagle Pro. It's a great entry level scooter and it could very well be the last scooter you ever buy. 40 miles an hour, 30 miles range. I've spent a lot of money on electric scooters and a part of my channel I think 
is educating people and getting them to not make the same mistake that I made. Hey guys. Yeah, I can see it's just real sad here. We always had homeless on this here in Hollywood. It's just out of control now. Sucks. Luckily, I'm not food shopping. There's a line at Ralph's. Oh, of course. I'm such a Jew. It's fucking Christmas. Duh. Look at all the people lining up. I thought this was because of the, it is because of the pandemic, but there have not been lines at Ralph's for a long time, since the beginning of the pandemic. But of course, I'm a Jew, and I forgot that it was Christmas. So Merry Christmas. Follower of the videos, you should definitely recognize this entrance. We're going to Albash, picking up some shawarma. We're on a crazy, crazy shawarma kick right now. What's happening, guys? Oh, uh, it's for me this time. Electric Scooter Academy. Yeah, I'm not working today. Guys, Merry Christmas, okay? We'll see you next time. You're in the vlog now. You made it, you made it. We'll see it. You know, somebody like me that was basically a small business owner from a very, very young age. I don't know if you guys even really know my story, but Cliff Notes, I had my own baseball card and comic book store when I was like 13, 14, 15 years old. I was like a business entrepreneur prodigy as a kid. But I know all about small business, so I'm really happy to go to Al Bosch and support my local restaurant that's doing very well through the pandemic. Most of them are suffering. But my heart goes out to all the people, including some of my close friends that have lost their small businesses because of the pandemic. I don't want to talk about whether it's because of the pandemic or because of government regulation. Regardless, it's happening. So I'm happy to support small businesses. Now, the long walk home. It's not that long, it's probably about a half a mile. And now we're home, check out Hollywood. Guys, I'm Yogi Steve, this is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Videos about high powered scooters and some other stuff. Look at the ears on this truck. I appreciate you following the channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.